This instructional video will go through a step-by-step -step process on how to put together Marshall Town's Monster Pry Bar display rack. So the box includes two side panels, two front and back panels, four hinge pins, one bottom rack, one lower middle rack, one upper middle rack, and one top rack. Step one, align the hinge brackets from the side panel with the back panel and insert the hinge pins through the brackets. Repeat this step, connecting the other side panel to the back panel to create a three-sided standing rack. Note, all panels need to be positioned so that the signage C-clips are on the outside of the rack. Step two, insert the bottom rack into the lowest slot on the back panel. Note, insert the bottom rack so that the grids are facing upwards to help hold the bars in place. Step three, Move the sidewalls outwards to allow for some room to insert the bottom rack into the front panel. Lift the bottom rack and insert it into the lowest slot of the front panel. Align the hinge brackets and insert only one of the hinge pins. Step 4. Insert the top rack into the top slot of the back panel and then into the top slot of the front panel by gently pulling back the side that is not pinned. Note, make sure to insert the rack so that the top grids line up with the grids on the bottom of the rack. Step 5. Once the top rack is in place, align the hinge brackets and insert the hinge pins. Step 6. Insert both middle racks into their designated slots. Note, make sure to insert the upper middle rack so that the grids line up with the other grids on the display rack. Marshalltown's Monster Pry Bar display rack not only holds up to 44 pry bars, but it can be used for placers, combo screeds, and bowl float handles.